everybody, it's Miss Michelle. I missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well and that you're having fun and that you're learning new things. Today in STEAM, I thought that we would explore some food science. So we are going to make a simple bread. It's called Irish soda bread. So the first thing that I have is my recipe which tells me what I need and how to use the things that I need to make the bread. I have all of my equipment here. So I've got measuring cups and I've got measuring spoons and then I have my nice big spoon for stirring. And I have a bowl and I have what I'm gonna bake the bread on. And over here, I have my ingredients. So on my list, it says that I need milk and I need white vinegar and I need all-purpose flour. I have this flour. This is called cake flour. And in a little bit, I'll tell you why I'm using cake flour instead of all-purpose flour. And I need baking soda. And I need sugar. And salt, which I've put in this bowl. Okay, the very first thing that I'm going to do is read through my recipe so that I know what I have to do, okay? It's much better if you read it first instead of just start cooking because you need to know ahead of time what's going to come next. Okay, it says that my prep time is 10 minutes. Prep is short for preparation. It just means how I put it together. And my cook time is 45 minutes. That's how long it's going to be in the oven. So from the time I start until the time I pull it out of the oven, it says it will be ready in one hour and five minutes. And my ingredients are one cup of milk. So that's why I got out. Well, I'm gonna use this for the milk, okay? So this has many different cups on it. It's got one, two, three, four. It's a big measuring cup. And I'm gonna use it because it has this nice pourer on it but you can use any type of measuring cup. And then it says two tablespoons of the vinegar, so that's why I have my tablespoon. For my older guys, you can just look and read on the spoons in mom or dad's um, drawer to find the right one. Um, for my littler guys, you can have mom or dad or your brother or sister help you to read the words. It needs to say one tablespoon, okay? And then um, I need two cups of flour. So for that, I'm gonna use this little cup. And um, it says I need one tablespoon of white sugar. So I will use this tablespoon again. And then it says I need a half of a teaspoon of baking soda. So this is my half and it says half. Half is one over two, that's a fraction, okay? And then I will also use that for my salt. Directions, stir the milk and vinegar together and allow it to stand until curdled. Okay, that means that the milk is gonna get little chunks in it. And it doesn't sound great, but it's super important for our science. And I'm going to tell you why. Flour is alkaline, okay? For my older guys, we've talked about acids and bases, but my younger guys, we've talked about it too. Acids and bases love to get together and react. And when they react, something changes. So flour itself is alkaline, so it's a base. And then we need to make an acid. So a lot of people use buttermilk, but I don't have buttermilk, and you might not have buttermilk either, because we're all not going to the store right now. But 
there's a good chance you have milk and vinegar. So we're gonna make our own version of buttermilk with this recipe so that it'll re react with the flour, okay? So I'm going to put one cup, I'm gonna put this over here so that you can see how we're measuring. I'm going to go to the line that says one cup. Okay, and then I need to add the two tablespoons of vinegar. Okay, for my younger guys, just get help with this part, okay? Just the way Miss Michelle helps you when we're doing steam at school. You can count with me, that's one, and two, okay. And then I'm going to just stir it up. And then we're going to let that sit there while we do the rest of the directions. And it will start curdling. Okay. I am gonna go preheat my oven very quickly. It says I need to put it to 400 degrees. This is something that mom or dad is gonna to have to do at your house. I will be back in a second. All right, all done. Now my oven's getting hot. And it says for me to grease my baking sheet. So something I forgot to tell you that I do have over here is this tiny piece of butter. Okay, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to rub it on my baking sheet. That is so the bread doesn't stick to the sheet. Now that's going to make your hands a little messy, so you're going to need to wash your hands before you do the next step, okay? So you don't get everything else dirty. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, so now it says in my bowl mix together the flour. So here's the flour. Remember I said I was gonna tell you why I'm using cake flour. In Ireland, where this recipe originated, that means where it came from, they grow soft wheat. They can't grow hard wheat. And because the wheat is so soft, if you use um, yeast, with it, yeast is what people usually put in bread to make the bread go whoop up high. But if you use yeast with soft wheat, then the, ye the yeast and the wheat go whoop, and it becomes a very heavy kind of small type of bread. And so since, we're, well we're not using yeast, but because I want it to be as close to the recipe as possible, I'm going to use this cake flour, which is soft. But it doesn't matter if you have all purpose. But if you have whole wheat, I wouldn't use that. That's gonna to be too heavy. So all purpose or pastry flour or cake flour is going to be best. Okay, so it says that I need um, two cups of flour. So I'm using my little cups. And remember, when we've measured things in steam class before, whoop, I've told you that you have to measure all the way up to the top, okay? And it's okay if I get flour all over the place because eventually I'm going to put the bread right here onto my table for one of the steps. Okay, see how that is right up to the top. And then I'm going to put it in my bowl. And it said I need two. So I'm going to do another one. Okay. 
think I need just a little bit more to get right to the top. 